Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and recently I was designing something for a client and I was creating a poster, right? A flyer for an event. And I had a photo of one of the speakers in that flyer and the client said, hey, can we change this photo to another one? It was of the same person, the same scene, same lighting, everything. It was just that the person was like maybe posing differently, right? Something, something of the sort. And I said, sure, fine. So I just right clicked on the photo that I had before with the background removed. I had removed the background of the new one as well. I just right click and then clicked relink to file just like this. Here we are in Photoshop. I have this photo here in my design, obviously, and I want to change it. So let me just right click on it and just go ahead and click relink to file. Photoshop will then give me this box to choose which image I want to replace it with. Now, this is the one I want to use, right? But I also have a version with the background removed, right? Because when I'm designing flyers, I always like, especially event flyers, that's gonna have an artist or a speaker. I always remove the background of whatever photo I receive from the client, obviously, right? And then I'm just gonna click this one here. No, the cool thing is you'll see that all the effects that I had on that first photo was applied to this one. Let me show you. If I were to undo this, Control Z, and zoom in, you will see that I added, well, let me show you the before. This is the before. Just to pause here, this video is sponsored by Envato, and we'll talk a little bit more about them later on. So this is a before of the actual photo that I got from Envato, and these are the effects that I added. I just added some saturation. Let me show you. I'm just gonna double click on my camera raw filter here, and I just added some exposure, contrast, I bumped up the shadows, and some blacks, and obviously the saturation is all the way down to minus 100, right? Obviously. No. back to where I was, I just right clicked and clicked relink to file. I choose the file that I want to replace it with. I chose this one with the background remove. But even if I chose the one with the background, see that you'll see the effect is added, right? All the effects, all the changes are added. Let me go back, right click, relink to file, and then change it to the one without the background. And you'll see just like that, it fits right in, right? This is actually pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This There's no purpose for this design. It's just for the purposes of this tutorial, right? It even works with, well, obviously these two photos, this one and the one before is of the same scene, right? Just a different pose, different angle. But what if it's a completely different person in a completely different lighting environment? Let's try that. Let's right click, sorry, right click and then click relink to file. And then you see it says trendy man in code, etc. etc. Let's choose this one here, confident young man, right? Let's right click on that and you'll see it has the same effect. The file name is also changed, right? All I have to do is just move this up and we are good. This is looking pretty cool. We are good to go. And that's how you use relink to file in Photoshop to replace one file with another. But hey, if you were to delete this file here, if I were to delete this file off my computer and close the project and open it back up, Photoshop is going to say, hey, we realize the file is missing. Where did you put it? And with the file deleted, you're not going to be able to do things like changing the size of that photo. So that's just something to note. And remember earlier, I said that this video is sponsored by Envato. Well, Envato is my one stop shop for all things stock photos for my graphic design projects and tutorials, literally like what you just saw. And what makes Envato cooler is you get unlimited downloads. One subscription with unlimited downloads. And it's not just photos, you get stock video footage, royalty-free music, and so much more. So if you wanna check out Envato for yourself, for your client work, or for any of your other creative projects, click right at the first link in this video description to level up your creative projects. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is CJAM and I'll catch you guys in the next one.